How do you explain the concept of religion and God to preschool-aged children? Well, the first question is, why did it come up? A child would not raise that question out of the blue, so it's up to you to find out who is talking to him about this, who, if anybody, is pushing him in this area, and correct the situation if possible. If it's a teacher, for instance, you got to go and make your position clear. <clears throat> Now, in any event, he has the question, um, uh, there's a God. Uh, how should you uh, react to that? Well, my first reaction would be just to, to, just to shrug uh, and uh, say, oh, that, that's nothing. And he'd say, well, people talk about us. Why? Uh, why, why is it nothing? He'd say, well, why do you talk about it? Just go, you know, just in a friendly way, just a, a one word uh, back and forth. And if he gets to, even in preschool, this is certainly possible. If he gets to, well, I'm, I believe in it, my friends believe in it, I say, oh, you can go ahead if you want. Um, it's okay. And then just drop it. Don't order him. You mustn't, that's irrational, that's wrong. Just don't. To say, you want to believe it? That's fine. He doesn't even know what it means. So there's no, you don't make it a battle of wills of his personality uh, over yours. <clears throat> the most you can do, if he's up to it, if he can understand it, and if you can do it in a cute way, he says, well, I want to believe in it. You say, okay, you believe in that, and I'm going to believe in this pink elephant over here. And... He says, there's no pink elephant over here, and you just laugh and say, yeah, it's all silly. That's all. No arguments, no polemics, no criticism. Uh, <clears throat> gradually, you have to teach him to recognize the arbitrary, but simply by uh, <clears throat> a shrug and a smile. So he gets the idea, you don't take this type of thing uh, uh, seriously. It's just silly. And then uh, from there, <clears throat> you don't have a problem. But above all, you don't. You stop whatever is pushing him, and then you just treat it as uh, silly, fun, you know, that's all. Uh, my daughter believed in the tooth fairy. Uh, we were driving once, and she said, oh, look, Daddy, there's the tooth fairy's house. I certainly did not sit down and say, there is no tooth fairy, etc., etc. I just, you know, took it, oh, isn't that funny, that's all, and uh, on her own she gave it up. Because in childish terms she got the idea, there was nothing to it. 